Well, today's Thursday. It's the 11th of uh, April 2024, and I'm in a place called Son Caliu, which is just down the road from Palmanova. And actually, the building map inside this one over here is called Club de Hielo. Club de Hielo? Club of Ice? It used to be, well, it was meant to be. Uh, an ice skating ring. It was never actually completed as an ice skating ring, and now it's uh, offices, uh, gym, that sort of thing. Um, but no ice skating ring. There's actually a bank in there now. Just further up the road there is Lidl, uh, quite a big Lidl and a big car park there. Uh, so if you're in Palmanova and you've got access to a vehicle, then that's a place you can easily come and do your shopping. Just around the corner behind all of this is a, an Aldi as well, similar sort of size, if not bigger. That's actually on two floors. Um, but I've come here for well, for two reasons. One is I want to go into Teddy, and the other is just to have a quick look at the um, Salvation Army. So we do have charity shops here, and uh, one of them is run by the, the Lions Club, which is the one I keep pointing out. Uh, but uh, don't often mention the Salvation Army, so I thought I'd give them a bit of a shout today. And uh, I always like to have a look to see what parkings there are. And then uh, I need to go in here. This is Teddy across the road. Uh, I need to get some more paint. They sell the right sort of acrylic paint that I need. Let's have a look at the Salvation Army. whole section of things on the outside, like school chairs they did. Some lounger wants something for the beach. Clothes. Golf. And then all sorts of bric-a-brac inside. I'm going to have a look around, tell you if I find anything interesting. Well, lots of fascinating things, but perhaps nothing for me, but it's one of these places you come back to uh, again and, uh, and you may find something if you're lucky. A little bicycle here, I mean, just a nice comfortable seat. So I'm going to go across the road, and this is Teddy, and I have actually done a video, I think, around either this one or the other Teddy. They're both very similar, and, uh, well, they've just got a little bit of everything, and... Uh, so I'm just going to see if I can get some paint, something to mix it in. And the prices are quite amazing. So lots of things for a euro, five euros. And uh, lots of things that you might want going onto the beach. These are all the things inside, it's huge inside. Uh, these are the things outside, it's huge inside. And. Uh, of crafty sorts of things which is why I, I like it but looking out here you've got all things for the beach at really reasonable prices so I'll go in and get my things and I'll see you in a bit well I've been round and I've just got a couple of tubes of paint here so I'll show you what I'm going to do with those in another video I've walked down the road a little bit and the, the roundabout there takes you up to Club de Hielo, to the Salvation Army and to Teddy's and uh, well I've come down here because I'm going to have a look in the uh, Chinese shop here and some people have asked me where that is. Well, there's the roundabout which takes you down into Palmanova with the flags and the other thing uh, to point out is these are the two bus stops, one on each side of the road where you can get the A11 bus, that's the one that takes you to uh, the airport. So if you get on the A11 bus on the other side of the road, uh, well on this side of the road, sorry, uh, that will take you to the airport. If you're coming from the airport to get up on the other side, uh, that's if you're on this side. It does actually stop again in Palmanova, and I'll have to show you that in another video. Um, it's good for the Globalis um, Palmanova and the Palmanova Palace because they're just up the road there. I'm going to have a look in this uh, Chinese shop, uh, see if they've got any other things I might be able to use with my uh, little constructions that I'm going to be doing. I see they've got sun lounges and deck chairs and things here. And lots of other things inside. Well, and he's just caught up with me in a shop. 
before she's managed to buy something. I don't know what she's bought, but she's bought something. Plant food. Plant spray. Go out that way. That's the 104 bus. And we're just walking now towards Palmer Nova. Bit of a breeze, you can see the flags are flying. Three flags there. Spanish flag, the Palearis flag and the European Union flag. This is the road now that takes us all the way down to the seafront. So gradually the weather's going to get better again as it gets to the weekend, which is quite nice. So uh, according to the newspaper, 25 degrees Saturday and Sunday, so that should be really pleasant. Might even be a little bit warm. Temperature a bit cooler today, so I'm going to see if I can see what it says on the, the pharmacy across the road. So I need to call in there. On the way back. On the way back. It's going to open until 2 o'clock actually, you have to get in now. I've just been stopped by Frank from Workington in Cumbria. He was uh, really happy with watching the videos and uh, likes the fact that we well, chat away and keep them up to date with what's going on. And I need to go, still need to go across Unless the road. Where's the other chemist the other round? Uh, oh, that's me sorted. And uh, the thermometer on the pharmacy said 19 degrees, which is pleasant for walking. It has clouded over now, and um, actually, as I got out of the car, I felt a few spots of rain. Hello. <laughs> okay, well, we're just going to the next of the um, charity shops, which is the uh, the Lions Shop, and don't forget uh, the Lions Shop through that gallery there, through that archway. And if you go to the top of there, there's a card and bookshop, so if you need something to read... Get you on film! <laughs> right. uh, so the card and bookshop's really good if you want a birthday card, a greetings card, or if you need something to read, perfect. Uh, they usually have a few books down here, but there's a fantastic selection if you go up there. There's friends working here as well. So just come down to drop it off and it's all been modernised and updated. Just go and have a look down at the front and hope it doesn't start raining again. The hairdressers. Just a few spots, so I was getting out of the car. Mm -hmm. Not enough to wet the ground, but uh, definitely a few spots. I do think all of this will blow over in the next few days. So. And we'll have some really nice blue skies again. I was down here yesterday with the lads and we had our lads lunch and uh, we went across to Mai Tai which is just on the corner across the road there um, and I think I chose the right one I chose a, uh, a chicken uh, green curry and it was absolutely delicious really enjoyed it uh, it's their menu of the day it's uh, 16.95 I think and uh, that was the the curry and uh, you could either have some carrot cake 
which was quite a big wedge of carrot cake and or you could have a, a coffee so I just had a coffee because I'm on my diet and I'm being a good boy <laughs> there was no starter. There was no starter, no. Uh, just that. And a drink was included as well. You could have a, a beer or a glass of wine. I had a Diet Coke. Continuing to be good. Well, it's a bit different in terms of the sea. The last time we came, it was really quite rough down here. No beds. And it, now it's... No beds and it's very calm and absolutely clear out in the distance there. Not so many people on the beach either today. Though it's, it is only a Thursday, uh, it'll be busy at the weekend and certainly when the temperature goes up and the blue skies come out and the sun's shining, uh, you'll get a lot of people down here on the beach. a bit of an update as well on the festivities that have been organized for St George's Day so I'll tell you all about those in a moment and a lot of the things seem to be on this beach or around this beach is it at the weekend it starts on the 23rd 23rd of April St George's Day well, that's not a weekend is um, it? no um, but that's the, the day that I think everything actually kicks off and uh, there'll be things going on for quite a few days for a whole week I think it's getting a little bit breezy we need to find somewhere for a coffee and then I can tell you all about what's going on for this St George's Day the thing that actually kicks it all off <laughs> um, I mean, just reminded me really of the um, the Olympics, where you've got um, James Bond coming in. Well, it's, going to happen. it's not going to be James Bond. It's going to be Jason Moore. <laughs> flying in. <laughs> she's not flying in. He's coming in by boat. She's, isn't that what uh, James Bond did? Got some new signs here, which tell you how fast you're going. Are you going too fast? It's uh, 30 kilometres per hour, which is about 20 miles an hour. It's really slow along here. put lots of those out everywhere. And they're really good. I, mean, I think they, uh, they do let people know they're speedy. Thirty. If you're driving over here, 30 kilometres per hour does seem incredibly slow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Saffron, it's a place we do come for Indian food. We do like our Indian food, and this is a really good place to come and have some. You see, the place is getting busy already now. So, um, I suppose it's lunchtime. Rossini's. I've got a tasty menu. LA American Diner. There is Elvis. He's left the building. Water cool getting ready to open. It only opens in the evening. Well spotted. <laughs> Ooh, lots of good smells of food here. We went out for lunch yesterday. I know, I know. And um, I guess I'll be going out next Tuesday. I'm going out. I'm going to find a seat in our, our colmena. I see Lynn over there. 
birds out. That's where we're going. All oh, right. Yes. Well, as we came into the beehive, we met. Come in again. Ian and Hazel. And Hazel. And you're from Bedfordshire. Bedfordshire. And uh, we've been sitting here. I'm sorry, but we've already drank the coffee, so we can't say cheers to you. But anyway, it's been a lovely chatting to them and catching up and uh, all about our video. So thanks very much for your looking. Hazel's got the set. Well, I'm going to take this. That's, that's, that's <laughs> not Hazel. That's Hazel. You've got exactly the same one. But today it's a bit cloudy, so we don't need it so much. Anyway. <laughs> that was really nice. <laughs> totally unexpected. That's what makes life interesting, unexpected things. It is indeed. Are we carrying on this side or that side? Crossover. Crossover now. Forgot to stop. Got to get my legs working again. Do you want to go back? Go back that way. We're not doing. We're doing a shorter walk today. I still haven't told you about the. St George's Day. I think I need to, you sit, want to sit down. down. I think I need to sit down and tell you about those things. Yeah. Have a little wander around here and then find a bench. Well, then I'm going to leave you and go to Porter Pee. Are tonight. you? Oh. My you know what that means? Going shopping. Yeah, we're in two cars today. Well, I think I might just, we'll just sit down here a second. I'll say bye. You go in now. All right then, no problem. Well, it's goodbye from Anita, but I'm going to stay on for a little bit more. She's going to go do some shopping, and I'm going to natter away about St George's Day. Bye. So the St George's Day celebrations uh, actually start on the 23rd, which is St George's Day, 23rd of April, and it's going to start right here. This is Sea Rose Restaurant that I'm standing in front of, and apparently, somewhere out there, the editor of the Daily Bulletin, which is Jason Moore, is going to do his James Bond impression and come in flying the English flag. That's the the red cross on the white background, and uh, that will kick it all off on the 23rd at 12 noon. After that, then there's comedians going on. There's some show cooking from a Michelin star chef, which is uh, Mark Fosh. That'll be interesting. I could do a looking at that. That's going to actually be in this restaurant, which is Sea Rose. And then uh, later on that evening, Paul Avery, who's the managing director of Palmer Pictures, is going to be giving a talk, a bit of a conference uh, on the Netflix series The Crown, which was filmed largely in Mallorca here, at least the last season was. And then on the 24th, we've got some rugby showcasing, that's on this beach. And uh, the 25th, uh, we've got some badminton and football, also on this beach, it's gonna be really busy. Uh, and at tea time, uh, we've got some live music going on. So there's just lots of things happening on April the 26th. Uh, more sporting things, football and I think that's supposed to be jiu-jitsu and uh, James Argent who I'd never heard of going to be giving a concert here on the 26th uh, but James Argent I think you mentioned in one of the other videos so lots of things going on uh, so if you're here for that week then uh, you should be enjoying the celebrations which are going to be all around this area of Palma Nova Anita's gone off now she's going to be doing some shopping so she'll be spending some money and I'm going to be making my way home and the sun's coming out. How nice is that? Quite a few people on the beach. One or two paddlers in the sea. Something else to mention, just notice uh, on the lamppost there, there's these uh, banners and they're advertising the uh, Calvia food fair. So different areas over the month of April, uh, just the weekends, the restaurants put on special menus. Uh, it's called La Mostra Calvia. If you look that up on the, the Calvia website, they will tell you which area it is for each particular week. You do have to book in advance, uh, but it, the restaurants are supposed to be co um, showcasing their best food, or best meals. 
and uh, so we get some nice shunts there. Have the sun on your back. The temperatures will go up this weekend. The sea's actually looking really good. There was a lot of fuss last year about the sea looking green. The sea often does look green. It looks a bit green today, but it's uh, it's beautiful and clear. been asked why are there no beds I don't know Calvia certainly lagging behind or whoever Calvia have given the concession to um, it's not only no beds there's no lifeguards and uh, we've seen people in the sea already so. this weekend it could actually start to get quite busy So they uh, put some access to the beach right outside the Cam Blanc. Fergus style hotel. That one. Pretty much open all year round. Looks like somebody's been doing a bit of clearing here with the lavender. It'll all come back though. It does grow a little bit like a weed lavender here. It's uh, really nice and, and very fragrant. Just a reminder that this is the smoke-free beach. No smoking on this one, please. That's my tie across the road. That's where I was yesterday with the lads. Well, I'm going to make my way back now, so thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.